Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. I am so excited for this episode. I have wanted to design a doll craft room since we started on YouTube. It was definitely one of the first ideas I put on the list. Okay, I can't wait a minute longer. Let's get crafting. To build the walls and floor, I'm using foam cardboard, but you could also use cardboard. You'll just have to paint or cover the walls with paper. Cut four 22 by 15 inch pieces for the back wall and floor, and four 15 by 15 and a half inch pieces for the side walls. Glue two 22 by 15 inch pieces together for the floor. Today I'm using this stick-on wallpaper from the dollar store for the flooring. You'll need two sheets. Peel the backing a little bit and stick it on to the edge of the floor. Slowly peel back the backing and stick it on as you go. Leave extra on the front. Fold it around the front edge for a nice finished look. Stick on the other piece. Glue the back and side pieces together. Glue the back wall to the floor. Glue on both the side walls. Now we'll add shelving to the back wall. Cut two two inch by 13 and a half inch pieces and seven two inch by four and a half inch pieces. You'll also need to cut a two inch spacer and a three inch spacer. Glue two of the four and a half inch pieces together. Glue them to the bottom of the 13 and a half inch piece. Glue the other 13 and a half inch piece to the other side. Next, grab the two inch spacer and use it as a guide to glue in the first shelf. I'm using my detailed glue gun so I don't get too much glue and make a mess. Use the two inch spacer for the next shelf as well. Glue in the next two shelves using the three inch spacer. Glue the last piece to the top. Next I take strips of one and a half inch foam board to create crown molding on the top and side of the shelf. Using these same instructions, build a second shelf. Put the crown molding on the opposite side so you'll have a right and a left shelf. Glue both shelves in against the side walls. Measure the distance between the two shelves. Cut five two inch strips to the measurement. Mine was 12 and 1 fourth inches long. You'll also need three one inch by two inch pieces and two two inch by two inch pieces. Glue two pieces along the bottom. Find the center and glue in one of the two by two inch pieces Glue in the next shelf. Glue the next two 
inch by two inch piece in the center and glue on the next board. Glue in the three one inch pieces and the last board on top. Cut a 22 by half inch strip for the trim across the bottom to finish off the shelves. I'm going to add this piece of scrapbook paper to the back wall for wallpaper. Measure and cut the paper to size. I'm using a glue stick to stick it to the wall. Cut two extra pieces for above the shelves. I want to add something special to this part of the wall. So I'm going to make a floating frame. I sprayed four skinny sticks gold and cut two strips of foam, a little longer than the skinny sticks. Glue the first skinny stick to the two pieces of foam. I'm using my cutting mat to make sure it's squared. Glue two sticks across the foam. Glue on the last stick. My mom found this metal word at the dollar store. It was pink, so I painted it gold as well. And I'm adding strips of foam so it will stand out from the wall as well. I stuck pieces of tacky to the foam on the back of the frame and the word, and then I center it on the wall. I'm using tacky so that if I ever decide to change the design, I can easily remove it without wrecking the wall. Our goal at Poppy Seed Mini is to inspire others, so that's why we chose the word inspire. Next, I went back to our painting supplies video and got the pattern for the storage box I'd made. Draw the pattern on the back side of scrapbook paper and cut it out. Use a hole punch to punch out two holes on either side of the handle. Fold on the fold lines. Glue the box together starting with the bottom tabs. Once it's all glued together, take a piece of jute, cut a small piece, and knot one end. Push the other end through one of the holes and back through the other. Pull it till you have a nice little handle and knot the other end. Glue the knots to the box so they don't move. Make a bunch of boxes in coordinating colors and add them to the shelves. Add in things like our sewing machine from our last video, a flower arrangement, a painting, some bolts of fabric from our last video, and the sewing supplies. I found these tiny clear bins from the Dollar General for some of the small supplies. Then I added my mini Barbie collection. My mom was kind enough to cut me a whole stack of mini scrapbook paper. I added a couple extra pieces of foam for shelf dividers. I can also add my mini Cricut and a doll room build. And how about some mini jars of glitter? Okay, now we need a craft table. You'll need five two inch by five inch pieces, 12 
two inch by two inch pieces, one five inch by eight and a half inch piece, and one four and a half by four inches. All cut out of foam core board. Take two two by five inch pieces and draw a line in the middle. Take one of those pieces and glue a two by two inch piece to the middle line and both ends. Glue the other piece on top. Glue two more two by two inch pieces to the top and bottom and one piece one inch from the top. Glue on the last side. Make the second side the same way. Cut pieces of scrapbook paper to glue on the back sides. Glue the four and a half by four inch piece between the two shelves. I decided to wrap the tabletop in vinyl. Cut a piece larger than your tabletop. Peel up a little bit of the vinyl and stick it to the back of the table. Slowly peel and stick so that you don't get any bubbles. Clip the corners like so. Then wrap the sides. Glue the table together. Let's see how it looks in the room. Add more bins, fabric, and supplies to the shelves. The last thing we need is chairs. Cut five, two, and three fourths by two and three eighths inch pieces and two, two and three fourths inch by two and three fourth inch pieces. Draw a fourth inch line across one of two and three fourths by two and three fourths inch pieces and cut along the line at an angle. Glue the two back pieces together and the five seat pieces together. Cover the seat with felt or batting. Clip the corner. Cover the back of the chair as well. Pick out a fabric that matches the room and cover both pieces.
glue the seat to the back. For the legs, you'll need a square wooden dowel and four skinny sticks. Cut the dowel into three inch pieces. For the skinny sticks, you'll need to cut four, two, and three fourth inch long pieces and four, two, and one fourth inch pieces. Glue two of the legs to one of the two and three fourths inch pieces. Make sure it's square. Do the same for the other legs. Use the other two and three fourth inch pieces to glue the set of legs together. Add extra glue to the corners. Glue it to the bottom of the chair. Take the two and one fourth inch pieces and glue them in between each of the legs. Add it to the room and make a second one for a friend. Add your crafting supplies from our craft supply video and your dolls are ready to craft. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Poppy Seed Mini. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, have fun crafting!